am Donna Wolf from Nastasia.com. Today I'm going to show you how to make eggs out of glue and string. To begin, you will need some balloons. Any size will work, but for the sample you just saw, we used the smaller water balloons. Next, you'll need string. For this sample, I'll be using embroidery floss. Next, you'll need some type of stiffening product. There are plenty of products on the market, but I like the method used years ago of plain white school glue. I'd recommend using an old plastic bin or bowl for the glue. First, pour some glue into your container. Then, add in about an equal amount of water. You don't want this too watery, but you don't want it too sticky either. Add in a small amount first, and then add more if necessary. Use your fingers to smear it around and blend it. Carefully take one skein of embroidery floss and unravel it gently into the water and glue mixture. You'll want to make sure you do not get any knots or tangles. If you are using yarn or string, cut off about 8 to 10 yards of it and place it in the same way as the embroidery floss into the glue mixture. You do not need to soak the string any longer than it takes to grab the balloon. Now, wet that previous end and begin placing it on the balloon. You can apply the string any way you wish. I find wrapping the first one or two strands around the balloon's end helps hold it in place. I also find that making nice subdivisions up and down the egg helps create a nice support system for the rest of the wraps. Next, just wrap the string in all sorts of directions. Try your best to fill in any spaces with the string. At the same time I'm wrapping, I'm slightly squeezing off the excess glue back into the container with my thumb and first finger. Once you have completed the first embroidery skein, put your egg down and repeat the process of placing the second skein of embroidery floss into the glue mixture. As before, just lay the string into the mixture and try to avoid tangles or knots. Next, pick up your egg and place this beginning end wherever you want. Then, continue with wrapping the string around the balloon. Try to fill in any large spaces with string. These small balloons take about two embroidery floss skeins, while a nine inch balloon uses about six skeins of embroidery floss. What I like to do is grab an old clothespin and hook it to the knotted part of the balloon. These need to dry for a minimum of 24 hours. It is very important to let them dry fully before moving on to the next step. Take a pin or needle and brace yourself. Pop that balloon. If needed, take some old tweezers and dig out the pieces of balloon that you can't reach with just your fingers. Some balloons are stubborn and might need a little cut with some scissors. Once your egg is done, you can leave it as is. Or you can add some ribbon, gems, bling, flowers, or other decorative items to your egg. If you want to add something, use a hot glue gun to fasten the pieces to the egg. And here's a completed string egg with a glued on ribbon and bow on top. By the way, if after you pop your balloon and the egg collapses, there's not much you can do. The reasons for this include the egg needs to dry longer than 24 hours, or your glue is too thin, or you didn't use enough string to wrap around the egg. One last thing, if you insert something into the balloon prior to blowing it up, like another egg or a toy or some candy, then wrap the string around it, your egg or toy or candy will be encased in the finished egg. Also, to view this video in other languages, click on the closed caption link on YouTube and turn on subtitles. From there, you can choose from over 100 different languages. I hope this video has helped you. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, check out the description of this video for more information, and please visit Nastasia.com for more tips and tricks on creative, self-sufficient living.